Nidopod was initiated in 1996. Based on Ritter, UK and OIRUS. Collaboration of representatives from the government, NGOs, employers and workers. Gazetted on 22nd of April 2004 and enforcement date, 1st of March 2005. Objectives of Nitopod To standardize reporting. To comply with the Act. To establish a valid and reliable statistics, requirements under FMA 1967, Notification of Industrial Diseases Section 31 require occupier to report by quickest means to the nearest inspector the occurrence of any accident which caused death, serious damage to property or machinery including bodily injury that prevent a person from doing his normal work for more than four days and any dangerous occurrence. In addition, it is expected the least possible delay submit a written report in prescribed form. Section 32 require every registered medical practitioner or visiting a patient whom he believes to be suffering from many diseases named in the third schedule and contracted in the factory, we can divide the rules to notification of accident and dangerous occurrence as well as occupational poisoning and occupational disease, notification of accident and dangerous occurrence, any accident arising out of or in connection with work that caused death or serious bodily injury, first schedule, which prevents the person from doing his normal occupation for more than four calendar days or when a dangerous occurrence, second schedule, takes place, the employer shall notify the nearest DOSH by the quickest means via telephone or fax. So an approved form must be submitted within seven days according to JKKP6. Next is Occupational Poisoning and Occupational Disease. According to JKKP7, an employer shall send a report in an approved form to DOSH within seven days where a person at work suffers from one of the occupational poisoning or occupational disease in the third schedule. In addition, a registered medical practitioner or a medical officer attending to a patient suffering from any one of the op or odd listed in the third schedule shall within seven days report to DG and notify the employer of the patient penalty. Any person who contravenes any provision of these regulations commits an offense and shall on conviction be liable to be imprisonment for a term not exceeding one year or a fine not exceeding 10,000 ringgit or to both. In conclusion, early identification and reporting will facilitate appropriate corrective and remedial actions for workplace improvement. Thank you for watching. Don't forget like and comment our video.